Hey everyone, I've just watched the latest video on the Veritasium channel about a, a very counterintuitive solution um, to solving a riddle. And I think like most people, I found it um, quite a surprising answer. But I also wasn't quite convinced by some of the maths or the or the graph that was shown. Um, they just didn't look quite, quite right to me, so um, I thought I'd have a look into it myself and see what I could come up with. And I have found a, a very different answer to, um, to Derek, uh, but I think my answer makes quite a lot of sense. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look. Um, so to begin with, here is the riddle. I won't go into it in detail because I'll assume that you've watched um, Veritasium's, Veritasium's video. Uh, and if you haven't, then uh, you should because it's great and it sets the scene for this, this video. I thought I'd start with a smaller problem. Uh, 10 prisoners, 10 boxes and they, they can only open five. So the prisoner will start at the, the box that's the same number um, that they have, and they will continually open boxes, and the loop will complete when they open a box that has their number in it. So I've looked at the probabilities of starting at a box. How long would it be before they open a box that has, has their number in it? So the simple one is to look at a loop of one. This is where the prisoner opens the box that has their number on it and their number is written inside it. Um, this has a probability of 10%. So what about the other end of the scale? A loop of 10 would mean that each box that the prisoner opens doesn't contain the number one until the last one. Looking at the probabilities, that also comes out at 10%. And this is true of whatever the starting number of the prisoner and the box, and whichever route that the loop takes. But what about loop sizes in the middle? Well, let's look at 6. And it's still 10%. This is the probability that the first five boxes don't contain the number of the prisoner, but the sixth one does. In fact, they are all 10%. Therefore, the chances that the loop is greater than 5 is not 69%, it's 50%, uh, at least according to these, these calculations. That means that the prisoner walks in, opens five boxes, and has a 50% chance of finding their number. And this feels right, whichever strategy they follow. But like the Veritasium answer, if there is no loop greater than the number of boxes the prisoner can, prisoner can open, then all of the prisoners will succeed with the loop trick. So the probability they will all survive is also 50%. I think Veritasium made an error in their calculations when Derek said that there are 100 factorial ways of arranging a 100 long loop. This isn't correct. There are, in fact, 100 factorial ways of arranging the numbers in the boxes full stop. And that includes all combinations of loop distributions. Whatever the answer, it was another thought-provoking and great video from the Veritasium channel. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and uh, I may make more.